Welcome to Quake3D Tutorials. In this video, we want to show you how to apply Arnold Hay Shader for NHair and XGen. So if we just jumping inside Maya, here we have an NHair system and here we have the XGen. So, and this NHair system, it can be found inside Windows and Content Browser, FX, Hair, and here it is. So you can just double click on it and it will be important to your scene. So now we have the XGen and we have the in hair. So to apply the hair shader or not hair shader for the in hair, just select your in hair system, uh, which is hair system shape. Go on under Arnold. If you want to have any transparency for the hair, so make sure you check this one off and override the hair check this on and go to the file and find the Arnold shader which called AI standard hair so now we have applied this to to the in hair system so the second thing is actually uh, before we going to the render uh, of course you can just open the render view over here you need to go to the render and make something called update full scene and when I'm going to up, uh, update this as you can see now we have getting a black uh, color I just very quick change it to like blonde color so you can see now we have applied the in hair uh, or uh, excuse me the Arnold shader a hair shader to the in hair system now we want to apply it for the X gen as well so we just stop this for a moment so now for the X gen go to the outliner select your description not collection description the area you have uh, your hair information or X gen right click on it in this case, I have already creating the Arnold Hay shader, so I don't need to create a new one. So I'm just using the same I have used for the in hair. So just selecting it now, it should have the right one. But before it, go to the Xgen menu with your collection and description, which is this one. Make sure you're using Arnold Render. So here we go. So now if we just uh, quickly render it once again, so you can see now we have getting the same hair shader for both. So the first one is how to apply it for the X gen and the second one is how to apply it for the in hair. In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit, a little bit more about the Arnold hair shader, how we can change color, how uh, we can play by a spe a specular and so on. Thanks for watching.